Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions related to enterprise structure in SAP MM materials management interviews, along with detailed and informative answers. 1. What is the enterprise structure in SAP MM, and why is it important? Answer. The enterprise structure in SAP MM represents the organizational hierarchy and defines how various organizational units are arranged. It is crucial as it forms the basis for configuration, determining how business processes are executed within the system. 2. Explain the key elements of the SAP MM enterprise structure. Answer. The key elements include the client, company code, plant, storage location, and purchasing organization. These elements together define the structure of the organization in SAP M. 3. What is the purpose of the client in the SAP MM enterprise structure? Answer. The client is the highest organizational level in SAP and represents a self-contained business entity. It serves as a container for data and configuration settings providing data isolation for different business entities within the same SAP system. 4. How does the company code function in the SAP MM enterprise structure? Answer. The company code is a legal entity in SAP M. It represents an independent accounting unit with its own financial statements. All financial transactions in SAP MM are associated with the specific company code. 5. Explain the role of the plant in the SAP MM enterprise structure. Answer. The plant represents a physical location where materials are produced, stored, or processed. It is a key element in determining inventory management and logistics related processes in SAP M. 6. What is the significance of the storage location in the SAP MM enterprise structure? Answer. The storage location represents a specific storage area within a plant where materials are kept. It is crucial for managing inventory and determining the physical location of materials within a plant. 7. How does the purchasing organization contribute to the SAP MM enterprise structure? Answer. The purchasing organization is responsible for procuring materials and services for a company. It plays a vital role in defining procurement-related parameters and strategies within the SAP MM system. 8. Explain the relationship between plant and company code in SAP M. Answer. A plant is assigned to a company code, indicating that all material-related transactions in that plant are accounted for in the financial records of the associated company code. This linkage ensures proper financial integration. 9. What is the role of the business area in SAP MM, and how is it related to the enterprise structure? Answer. The business area is an additional organizational unit in SAP MM that represents a specific area of responsibility within a company. Code. It is used for segment reporting and can be linked to plant or other organizational units. 10. How can you define the relationships between different organizational units in SAP? MM? Answer. Relationships are defined using assignment and linkage. For example, a plant is assigned to a company code and a storage location is linked to a plant. These assignments ensure a hierarchical and interconnected structure. 11. What is the purpose of the plant-specific material status in SAP? MM? Answer. The plant-specific material status allows you to control the usability of materials at the plant level. It helps in managing the life cycle of materials and ensures that materials are used appropriately within a specific plant. 12. Explain the concept of evaluation area in SAP MM and its significance. Answer. Evaluation area is an organizational unit that represents the level at which material valuation is performed. It can be at the company code or plant level. The valuation area determines how materials are valued for accounting purposes. 13. How is the plant determined during the creation of a purchase requisition in SAP? MM? Answer. The plant is determined in a purchase requisition based on the plant. Assigned to the requesting organizational unit, such as a cost center. The default plant is derived from the organizational structure. 
14. Explain the role of the storage location in the goods movement process in SAP M. Answer. The storage location plays a crucial role in the goods movement process. During goods receipt or issue, it determines the physical location of the materials within a plant, facilitating accurate inventory management. 15. What is the relationship between the sales organization and the enterprise structure in SAP? MM? Answer. While the sales organization is more closely related to SAP sales and distribution SD, it indirectly impacts SAP MM through the integration of business processes. It influences demand, planning, and material requirements. 16. How does the plant-specific material status impact material availability in SAP? MM? Answer. The plant-specific material status controls the usability of materials at the plant level. If a material is set to an inactive status in a particular plant, it cannot be used or transacted in that plant, ensuring proper material control. 17. Explain the concept of a division in SAP MM and its relevance to the enterprise structure. Answer. A division is an organizational unit in SAP MM that represents a product line or business segment. It is often used for reporting purposes and can be assigned to various organizational units to categorize materials. 18. How can you assign a storage location to multiple plants in SAP MM? Answer. A storage location can be assigned to multiple plants using the same number and description. However, each assignment is unique to a specific plant, allowing for flexibility in managing storage areas. 19. What is the purpose of the purchasing organization in the context of vendor master data? Answer. The purchasing organization is linked to vendor master data in SAP M. It determines which purchasing organization is responsible for procuring materials from a specific vendor, streamlining the procurement process. 20. How is the plant determined during the creation of a purchase order in SAP? MM? Answer. The plant is determined in a purchase order based on the plant, assigned to the vendor master data or the default plant associated with the purchasing organization. This ensures accurate goods receipt and inventory management. 21. Explain the role of the plant in the MIPRP material requirements planning process in SAP M. Answer. The plant is a key parameter in MIPRP as it defines the location where materials are required. MIPRP calculates the material requirements based on the plant specific demand and ensures timely procurement. 22. What is the significance of the business area in the context of profitability analysis? COPA in SAP MM. Answer. The business area is used in profitability analysis COPA to segment financial data for reporting purposes. It allows for the analysis of profit and loss at the business area level, providing insights into the performance of different segments. 23. How can you configure a new plant in SAP? MM? Answer. To configure a new plant, you go to the SAP IMG implementation guide, navigate to the enterprise structure settings, and create a new plant by specifying details such as address, valuation, area, and control data. 24. What is the purpose of the plant specific material status in the context of inventory management? Answer. In inventory management, the plant-specific material status controls the usability of materials. It ensures that materials are available for use or restricted based on their status, facilitating effective inventory control. 25. How does the valuation area impact the material valuation process in SAP? MM? Answer. The valuation area determines at which level material valuation occurs. If set at the company code level, all plants under that company code share the same valuation. If set at the plant level, each plant has a unique valuation. 26. Explain the relationship between the sales organization and plant in SAP M. Answer. While sales organization is more closely related to SAP SD in SAP MM, the sales organization indirectly impacts material management through its influence on demand planning 
material requirements, and inventory management. 27. What is the significance of the plant-specific material status in the context of quality management? Answer. In quality management, the plant-specific material status is crucial for managing the quality of materials at the plant level. It allows for the segregation and control of materials based on their quality status. 28. How can you deactivate a plant in SAP? MM? Answer. To deactivate a plant, you can use transaction code on 9 in the SAP IMG. Here, you can set the status of the plant to inactive, preventing further transactions in that plant while maintaining historical data. 29. Explain the role of the company code in determining the accounting view of materials in SAP M. Answer. The company code is central to determining the accounting view of materials. All financial transactions, including material valuation and accounting entries, are linked to the specific company code, ensuring accurate financial reporting. 30. How can you assign a business area to a plant in SAP? MM? Answer. To assign a business area to a plant, you can use transaction code OX18 in the SAP IMG. Here, you link the business area to the plant, establishing a relationship for reporting purposes. These questions and answers cover various aspects of enterprise structure in SAP MM, providing a comprehensive understanding for interview preparation. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, Please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.